Hello everyone, welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. I'm Marinda Mukhopadhyay, entrepreneur and business coach. Today we will discuss about dynamic condyler, screws, implants and instruments. So let's begin. Today we will discuss about DCS or Dynamic Condyler Screw. This plate has got three components which we will discuss one by one. This is called the barrel and the barrel plate angle is 95 degrees. It is available in different sizes from 4 holes up to 14 holes with 2 holes gap in between. That's 4 holes, 6 hole, 8 hole, 10 hole, 12 hole and 14 holes. These holes are all non-locking holes. The next is lag screw also known as a hip screw. We will also require 4.5 mm cortical screws. Then we will require 6.5 mm full thread canceler screws. As you can see it's fully threaded. This is the top screw, also known as the compression screw. Coming down to the instruments, we will require angle guide. With a QC handle attachment. We will require guide wires, threaded as well as the regular ones. As you can see here, this one is a threaded one and this one is the normal one. We will require both kind of guide wires. Next, we will require measurement scale to measure the guide pin or the guide wire. Then we will require triple action reamer. This one is a little different from the triple action reamer which we use in DHS or dynamic hip screw. You can check the video here by clicking on the I button. This is also called a triple barrel reamer. DCS reamer is a fixed reamer. In case of DHS or dynamic hip screw, there are two type of triple action reamer. One is long barrel and one is short barrel. But in case of DCS, there is only one kind of reamer, which is this one. This part is a reamer and this is the barrel. This is a DCS or DHS tap. This is a quick coupling handle or QC handle. Now these are centering sleeves. This is a long one and this is the short one. This helps keeping the alignment of other instruments in the center. Generally used with a DHS or DCS tap. We will also require T-handle with guide shaft. This is the T-handle and this is the guide shaft.
This is called a coupling screw or a plate holder. Next, this is an impactor. Next, this is a depth gauge. This is a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver, 150 mm length. This is 3.2 mm drill bit generally used for 4.5 mm cortical screw and lastly this is 4.5 mm tap these are all the implant and instruments required for a dynamic compression screw surgery if you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.